Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick's $35 million New York Mansion Tour. Sarah Jessica Parker was born in Nelsonville, Ohio, the son of Barbara Parker, a nursery academy driver and schoolteacher, and Stephen Parker, an entrepreneur and intelligencer. She was one of an aggregate of eight children from her parents' marriage and her mama's alternate marriage, her full siblings include actors Timothy Britton Parker and Pippin Parker. Broderick was born in Manhattan, the son of Patricia, a playwright, actress, and painter, and James Broderick, an actor and World War II stager. His mama was Ashkenazi Jewish, a signee of settlers from Germany and Poland. His father was a Catholic of Irish and English descent. Broderick attended Great Academy at City and Country School in Manhattan and High Academy at the Private Walden School, also in Manhattan. He entered acting training at HB Studio. Broderick and actress Sarah Jessica Parker married on May 19, 1997, in an Episcopal form officiated by his family, Janet Broderick Kraft. Parker and Broderick have a son and binary daughters via surrogacy. Although the couple live in the West Village, they spend a large quantum of time at their alternate home in Kilcar, a villa in County Donegal, Ireland, where Broderick spent his summers as a child. They also have a house in the Hamptons. Broderick is a political liberal. Just last time, Sarah Jessica Parker and her hubby, Matthew Broderick, said farewell to their longtime New York City home, dealing for $15 million. The couple had bought a stunning three-level property way back in 2000 for under $3 million and repaired it considerably over the years. These days, it sports a miscellaneous design with dual-toned cabinet work, antique traces and more. In 2016, the couple bought two side-by-side -side town homes in the same neighborhood for $34.5 million, with plans to combine them into a single mega-mansion. So it's likely that that is where they are moving. Sarah Jessica Parker is an actress and television producer best known for her part as Carrie Bradshaw on the HBO series Sex and the City. For this part, she won two Emmy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards and three Screen Actors Guild Awards. Not unlike her celebrated character Carrie in reality, Sarah loves living in Manhattan and has done so for decades alongside her family. Sarah and her actor hubby, Matthew Broderick met way back in the clicked over their shared love of musical theater nearly 20 times after meeting the notorious couple is still going strong. After tying the knot in 1997, Sarah and Matthew went on to drink three children together and also bought their longtime New York City townhouse shortly after getting married. Throughout their decades-long love, the stars have kept their relationship as private as possible, including much of their home life, with a combined net worth of about $200 million. You formerly know that Sarah and Matthew are living in style and luxury Manhattan. After nearly a time of looking for a buyer, Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick vended their longtime New York City home for $1 million in 2021. It said the couple put their house upas and off request tail table when they started off asking $19 million for the place. Sarah and Matthew bought the three-level town home, located in the West Village neighborhood of Manhattan, back in 2000. At the time, it set the couple back only a mere $2.9 million or just over and over the decades living then, the 1905 erected home passed expansive renovations at the hands of the Broderick Parkers. While there are no table prints to look at directly, in 2014, Parker did invite Vogue inside this home as part of the magazine's first ever investiture of 73 questions. In this video, we can catch a glimpse of the ground bottom and see that her home offers archways between apartments, crown moldings fireplaces, and a blend of various scenery and elegance. There are dark hardwood bottoms throughout, miscellaneous scenery, and every bit of available wall or shelf space was full of art and books. Beyond Sarah and Matthew's large frontal doors, the hall had old-world charm with dark wood trim and ultra-modern rudiments like the staircase's carpeting in the family room. The walls are a cheery green color, while built-in bookshelves line two of the walls, and the actress is each about a good book. There is also a sharp wood burning fireplace in this room and elsewhere. A bar at Thanksgiving. Sarah also participated a print taken inside of the kitchen where we could see rustic bottoms, as well as a large white islet lined with metallic tableware stools. A sunlit space with bottom-to-ceiling windows near the family room was used for games with an antique ping-pong table, while the formal dining room has a piano. Thanks to an Instagram post, we saw that Sarah has a bright unheroic dining table she was doing laundry on in the study. The award-winning actress has her Golden Globes on display, and even though she's a Manhattan girl at heart, we can tell that she loves to see and travel the world. 
In the video, we also get a regard of Mr. Broderick's baseball collection, since he is an avid addict of the sport. While the couple parted ways with their longtime family home is Bradshaw. I mean, Parker will not be leaving New York City anytime soon. The couple dropped $34.5 million in 2016, prepare for neighboring townhomes just a many blocks down, also in West Village, which they had some big plans for. So as I mentioned, in 2016, the Broderick Parker purchased a new lodging down the road taking on a massive construction project. The side-by-side -side townhomes are on a high tree lean block in West Village, but Sarah and Matthew made plans to combine them into a single square bottom mega mansion with a perk 2100 square bottom private garden. Renovations began soon after purchase, and the couple hired Morris A. Jimmy Mastermind to get the job done. The brick-faced beauty span 50 feet of road frontage will no doubt be an upgrade for the star couple once the home is completely completed. The only prints weave of the property are back from the time of purchase, where you can get a sense of the innards, the high ceilings in utmost spaces, and the work that would have demanded to be done to the place. The structure was possessed since the 1920s by the United Methodist Woman Nonprofit Association and is just steps away from the Magnolia Bakery in a high location. While Sarah and Matthew formerly spent a fortune on the property alone, it's assumed they also spent millions more upgrading and combining the townhouses to seamlessly blend. Clearly, this is where they are moving their family to or where they formerly moved into. Now these aren't the only Manhattan properties Sarah and Matthew have owned. I'm sorry about your toe, um, you. but I'm especially sorry that you delivered what have been... I, I did a similar, very similar thing to my toe, although it sounds much less, like, pretty. Like, everything about what happened to you sounds like it was in a nice environment. Like, uh -huh. well, there was a gym, first of all. Right. And art, and... Um, in 2012, it was reported that the Brace listed this home that they possessed in Greenwich Village area of New York City, and they listed it for a hopeful $25 million. But after not dealing, they had to realist it again in 2014. While lowering the price, the couple snared up the 25 bottom wide townhouse in 2011 for almost $19 million and completed a laundry list of structural emendations on the plates. It's a satiny and fascinating space located in one of Manhattan's most honored neighborhoods. Parker and Broderick no way actually enthralled the home. They bought it with the intent to flip it, and the property apparently doubled as a clothing storehouse for the fashion hung up Parker. Must be the most precious closet of all time, but I am not surprised. The brace repaired the home top to bottom quite beautifully, and the Greek Revival-style residence features 6,800 living space with five beds, five full cataracts and three half baths. The lately refreshed red slip-up home was originally erected in 1846 and stands for floors above ground, with two below. A classic raised Dane entrance, much like Carrie Bradshaw had, leads to a narrow hall in stair hall with grey flagstone bottoms and hard there is a formal dining room that looks out over the streets. One of the seven fireplaces throughout the home is located in the dining room, while another occupies a 30.1 feet long formal living room with original mantelpiece, wet bar, and direct access to the private garden. Garden level kitchen features a large islet, marble covered fireplace wall and only the stylish pristine sword appliances, not to mention a sunlit break fast room. On this bottom, you will also find a handy service entrance and guest or staff room with private and soot. There are three guest apartments on the third bottom, while the master suite spreads luxuriously across the fourth floor. It boasts an large bath with hand-carved stone hogshead, a brace of dressing room sand, a private sun deck overlooking the garden. The home was reportedly staged with pieces from Ms. Parker's factual wardrobe. The topmost bottom of the townhouse consists of a massive prelude space with two large skylights entertainment system and 45 bottom long stretch of bookshelves. At the other ends of this bottom, there's a small office and bathroom. After looking at prints of the home, it is understandable why it was priced so highly. With inconceivable ultra-modern innards, extensive living spaces, an out-of-door theater and more. It was completely an NYC dream house. Unfortunately, in the end, the Broderick Parker had to sell the home for $5 million at a nearly three-quarter million bone loss, not indeed counting how much they spent on flipping the place. So this was all about Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick's $35 million New York Mansion tour. So if you enjoyed watching this video do not forget to like share and subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we upload a video, do not forget to comment down your views and I'll see you in next one.